And this is actually one of the roadways in the cemetery. Charles Cook spends much of his free time here at the Olivewood Cemetery. It's the oldest incorporated African-American cemetery in Houston, Texas. Buried within its eight acres are a number of trailblazers, like Richard Allen, a freed slave who became one of Texas's first black legislators, and Frank Vance, a prominent businessman. Charles's own great-grandmother, Emma Brown, is buried here too. Supposedly she was one of the early midwives for the white uh, community. For the past 30 years, Charles and the rest of the descendants of Olivewood volunteers have worked tirelessly to bring the burial ground back from the brink of forgotten history. Decades of neglect had turned the cemetery into an overgrown jungle. Some of that has since been cleared, but Olivewood is now facing a new challenge, climate change. That whole burial shaft can become uh, full of water. Severe weather is eroding the soil toppling headstones, shifting monuments, even dislodging bodies from their graves. A recent assessment found that pre-existing drainage problems are being worsened by excessive rain, but also by extensive development and uncontrolled water runoff into the cemetery. This has been made wider, this has been made deeper, and as those channel walls expand outward in response to the uncontrolled runoff, the burials that are on the corners of the edges and the shoulders of those that original gully system have gotten affected and fallen down into it. And uh, in fact, there were human remains that were unearthed. The damage has been significant enough to land Olivewood on the National Trust for Historic Preservations list of America's 11 most endangered historic places, unlocking funding and expertise to save the site. Historic preservation in the United States has largely focused on the white experience. Tens of billions of dollars funneled into preserving documents, buildings, cultural traditions, while just roughly 2% of the 95,000 entries on the National Register of Historic Places focuses on the experiences of African Americans. Institutional racism. Historian Jocelyn Imani says the disparity is partly a vestige of racism not just in the choosing of which sites to preserve, but also in which stories are told. A lot of those stories pretty much just focus on slavery and civil rights. And even the way that those stories are told is not always privileged, privileging and prioritizing African-American resilience and self-determination. Her work at the Trust for Public Land focuses on bringing more stories like that to the foreground. I've been doing it for 30 years. At the Olivewood Cemetery, Charles Cook is working towards the same goal. I think if you know your, your past, then you'll know your, your future or you'll know the present. It's very important from, uh, from a, a racial point. Uh, some of it is bitter, but it still needs to be known. Saving the burial ground of his forefathers so their stories aren't lost to time or Mother Nature.